so I know it's loud with that dose going. Those suckers are always loud. So for right now, what I did, I went to the uh, hardware store and I can't get the size that I need. I think it's uh, one quarter on one side, the quick neck, and then it has to go to an eighth uh, female. And I couldn't find that at the hardware store. Uh, I found them on Amazon, but you have to get a pack of 10 of them for like 30 bucks. I mean, I only need two, so I kind of hate doing that. Um, I couldn't find them anywhere else. I did find them on uh, saltwateraquarium.com and you can get a pack of four. That's like, uh, I think $20 plus, you know, I'd have to wait on shipping. It's like seven business days or whatever to get it. So I don't know. I think I'm still going to change that out and, uh, and fix something up. But for now, what I did, the auto top off container that's under the house, I basically just took the flexible tubing and stuck it through a piece of uh, three quarter inch PVC or PVC elbow and uh, put the bulkhead fitting on the end of it so it wouldn't pop out. And I used, I just used that elbow as a weight uh, to basically sink it into the bottom of the container. So anyway, it's working now. I don't have the, uh, siphon break going on um so yeah it's just pumping water in super slow and filling this thing up the rest of the way so i figured you know i'd kind of do a video while this process is going i probably should have just went and got some more rodi water and filled it up the rest of the way but i didn't um so i'm just using that so anyway like I said, it's just a gravity flow. When it fills up, you know, it's gonna trickle out there. Basically now, I set it up so that it's gonna dose. Like I said, I put two teaspoons of the caulkwasser powder in here. And I've got it set up to dose 30 mLs a day, uh, just throughout the day right now. So, we'll see where we're at with that. Um, I'll just keep an eye on it and then I'll know, you know, if I need to uh, bump up how many mLs I'm doing a day or if I need to increase the strength of it or whatever. Uh, this is probably going to be playing with it for a while to try to get it figured out. Um, like I said, I've never used one of these before and I think it's kind of cool that, you know, you can get your calcium alkalinity out of one and, you know, it's kind of like buying the all-in-one stuff that's pre-mixed or whatever, except for with this, you get the bonus of, uh, it gives you a pH bump as well. So I'm going to try to hit that 8.3 pH as well. Uh, I did put a command in the, uh, Neptune that if it reaches pH of 8.4 to turn it off and I'm also going to try to recalibrate the pH probe again uh, I might have to say tell it to turn off at a lower pH because right now you know it's not as I've said before I've tried to uh, calibrate I don't know how many times and it's not matching what I'm getting with other stuff but that was a whole other discussion um I'm not sure if that dose just like timed out or what. I turned it to the on switch, but I don't know. Maybe it timed out or something. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this on up. And then it's just going to be some playing with it for, you know, this next week and getting it adjusted out the best I can. And I'll see how it goes. I mean, I, like I said, the only downside to this in my mind is they say you know it gets dirty and you have to clean it out i i wonder with the stirrer part if you really have to even clean it out that often i mean i've read different things some people say they clean it out once every six months some people say every month um so i don't know we'll see how that goes and i'll let you know how this thing's going and with uh, future updates but for right now uh i'll just keep working with it and 
then I'm probably going to order those fittings in from Amazon and switch them out on the dose so I can hook up the hard lines. Uh, just like I said, I'm getting a air leak or break somewhere so that it's not holding the siphon and pulling water up. So I got to do something to change that. Maybe I'll just change it on the on one side. Well, I might as well do both sides. And this line here, without having to push that down, I can just pull it right in and out. So I was going to watch it, make sure it's not leaking as well. So I think these things are really made for the, the hard quarter inch lines, the like RODI lines or whatever, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I don't know, I'll fool around with it and I'll let you know any changes in uh, future update videos. Thanks again for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I hope people get something out of my videos. I, I try to give the best information I can and just my honest opinions and the way I'm doing things. Um, so I, I appreciate everybody that watches and follows along and has subscribed to the channel. Have a good one.